three, two, one. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. We've been doing a couple uh, videos here and there um, of you know, reviews, installs, this, that, and the other. Uh, one of them, if you guys have seen in the past, was a surface cleaner that I had purchased and wanted to test it out and give people reviews and stuff on it. I like doing things like that. So today, we have actually got a, a new surface cleaner, and I'll give you a little bit of backstory on this. So I got an email from a company that says, hey, we really liked your surface review cleaner video. Uh, it was great. Would you mind doing one for us? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. You know, they hit me up. Boom, now we got this. So I have yet to open this box. Uh, they did send me a link to check out their product uh, and where to get it from, that link. Uh, there is gonna be an Amazon link, be the first link below in the description for you guys to check it out. Uh, overall, uh, we're gonna open a box, see what we got inside. We're gonna go over the install and then we're gonna run through two tests of the surface cleaner itself. And ending of like what, what I think about it and basically it's overall cool. So if you guys haven't already go ahead and subscribe hit that like button uh, drop us a comment below let us know you know overall presentation of the video what you like what you don't like and let's dive right into it let's see what we got remember everybody safety first in this case here it's always safety last see what we got inside come up close show them what we got in the box it's a pretty good size uh, Jesus man this is like an industrial size surface cleaner this will be the surface head get everything out of the box and then we'll go over we'll look at it and then see what we're going to do with our install see what we got to do man this thing's gonna be like a harley it's got handlebars on it what? hell yeah what else we got we got nothing in the cardboard nothing in the cardboard here Got us a high pressure line, more to our uh, Harley handlebars there. A basic bag of material, all your little stuff that you need to put together. So I'm gonna go over the instruction manual real quick. This looks like a pretty simple install uh, as far as putting everything together. I'm gonna look it over real quick and then we'll go over putting everything together for you guys. So let's talk about this surface cleaner head right here. This thing is ginormous. So it's got two, two jets on it, a high pressure jet. You know, I'd say if a man wanted to, probably with the way their, their tubing and stuff is, you might, could probably drill more holes in here and put more jets. I don't know if it would sustain that. That's just for me looking at it, quick reference. But I mean, this is a pretty good size. Your overall head diameter. From bristle to bristle, you're a little over 20 inches, 20 and a half. Uh, your jet span, right at 17 and a quarter, 17 and a half, you know, from tube to tube. It's not a bad ordeal. I mean, that's pretty good size if you needed to cover an area. It would be kind of cool if it had more jets, but. We haven't got to use it yet, haven't got to try it, so I don't know the effectiveness of it. It's not super heavy, looks like it's all made of uh, stainless and aluminum. From top part to top part. Yeah, you're right at about 20 and a half. Uh, go from wheel end to wheel end. You're about 28 inches. So I would say something like this would be very useful for, for a big driveway 
we got two scenarios where we're going to try it out. We're going to show you guys. Uh, but here real quick, we're going to go over how to put it together. See, see what the ease of assembly is. So looking through their manual and um, looking at their specifications. So it's saying that the recommended operational pressure is between 2,000 and 4,000 PSI. Uh, recommended water flow rate is anything that's rated to two to four gallons per minute. Uh, can't accept anything over 158 degrees. So this wouldn't be a very uh, usable instrument with hot water, super hot water, 158 degrees plus. Uh, I'm sure that would probably melt out some O-rings or something like that. Um, saying that all together all of this stuff pieced together is supposed to be about 22 and a half pounds so 22 23 pounds uh, to tote around just looking over the instructions of assembly it looks like something that you can put together fairly quickly and take apart so our next step is is we're going to start uh, assembling per its instructions yeah some of us sometimes read instructions but we're going to go over that and see what we're going to do Aside from the instructions, what you get, what you come in the bag is, is uh, basically a quick pin kit to assemble your handlebars and stuff together to the head unit and all the fittings and O-rings that you would need to put in here to connect to the hose. Uh, they do provide you with some Teflon tape and a quick connect fitting. So first thing per the instructions, we're going to go ahead and throw these handlebars on, put those together, see what those are like. comes with these pins, just quick connect pins, line up your tubing, get slid through the other side, little pin on here, slides down and locks it in. So this could actually be something that you could throw in your trunk, backseat of your car, or something like that, you break it down, be good to go, just to disassemble in a matter of seconds. Bing, bada boom. So now, handlebars are completely set up, ready to go. So next, we're gonna look at our fittings and getting them installed. Right now, we went ahead and Teflon taped all the threaded pieces, the threaded portions, uh, with their supplied Teflon tape. Go ahead, thread this one in, and get this one started. Basic crescent wrench, about the only tool that you need. Sure, if you wanted to be more specific, uh, you can find the proper wrench sizes, but with the Crescent wrench, everything will work just fine. Get all my fittings tightened up. Probably use another wrench to put on there and tighten that one. Go back and do that. So your hose slides up through this little slot right here. You got your quick connect fitting for your high pressure line. It goes down on here like so. And then come over here to our handle bars where our lever is, our controls for controlling the water. Go ahead, thread this in, and get it all tight. Then once we get done with this, we'll go over and show you our first test area. All right, let's rock and roll. Real quick, something that we didn't know that we figured out. 
Now this one right here has a quick connect fitting on the end of it. What I did not have, uh, I did not have anything on the standard, I guess what would be your industry standard on your everyday household pressure washers and stuff. So we went and got an adapter kit real quick. This does not, this is not included in this. So an adapter kit, basically this piece right here shall screw on to what would be the hose end that comes off of here and will enable, we'll have this piece right here where we'll make it all connect so it'll work together. So what we're gonna do real quick is cut this open and get it all adapted together so we can eliminate this and just hook our hose straight to this. There is hoses um, that offer these that you could go from here to here without using an adapter, but this is just the cheapest option that we have available. Now a quick rundown, if you didn't watch the other video that I made for surface cleaners, I'm using the Ryobi pressure washer. I got this from Home Depot. It is the 3000 PSI, 2.3 gallon per minute. Now we're gonna go over here real quick. I'm going to show you the before of our first test area. This is a highly traveled path. I haven't pressure washed or cleaned this in a couple months since I made the last video. So you get a very clear example. You know, just looking at it, seeing what this area looks like. We are not going to be using any cleaning solution. This is just going to be a raw um, display of what the product can do. All right, let's get this thing fired up. First off, real quick, um, I want to talk about the ease of use. This thing is pretty easy. Uh, the wheels and everything navigates around. It doesn't really have a problem. In a small area, I could see, you know, having, a, having an issue or whatnot. I'm doing it from a side profile so you can see it working in action. We're going to let this square dry. That way you can see the, the shape comparison of the unpressure washed versus the pressure washed. Uh, another thing that I'll add in, and we'll, we'll probably go back over once it dries and you'll be able to see it, is it doesn't do corners at all. So on this, there's lines down through here um, that you would probably have to use a nozzle end and go back over. Uh, your corners and stuff over there, it can't reach those. So you wanna keep that in mind. That's kind of the same thing with the other surface cleaner that we used it did not do corners i mean obviously it's rounded and stuff but don't expect it to get like 100 percent coverage if you're in a tight area but overall looks like it's doing a really good job for what it is uh, a higher pressure say if we had a, a pressure washer that was up to about 4,000 psi it would probably turn out you know really really good uh, as far as the penetration without chemicals now our next test spot is going to be the porch so we got the front porch as you can see like i said this is a high traffic area um, the last time that any stain or anything was put on this porch was 10 years ago so it's coming up on time that we need to strip everything down uh, probably past due time that we need to strip everything down, uh, repaint it, uh, retreat it, everything. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a test pass up through here and see how well it removes our 10 year old paint and stain combo. So let's hop right on it and let's check it out and see what it's going to do. So 
was just doing this right here in this clip. That video was only a couple minutes long, um, or what we took to do the clip. I'm just back and forth, back and forth, left to right, doing it in circles and stuff. Uh, personal review on that, on ease of use. Uh, that's super, that, that wasn't a struggle. Uh, basically just navigating it around, even at a small space like this, you know, from the door to the railing is probably about warm's width apart for me. Uh, at the rate of which it's pulling stuff up, it's pretty good. Uh, is not bad in a high traffic area. We'll see it when it dries, uh, how much that it actually pulled off. You can actually see the dirt, uh, all the old dirt and whatnot that have been tracked in over the last 10 years uh, get pulled up pretty good. So it's doing a really good job. I would actually like to know if they have different options for jets and stuff for it. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I'm gonna check the thread pitches on it and see like, you know, if I could swap the jets out, if we have anything available. Uh, wider, tighter, you know, we're just working on different stuff. But overall, I mean, it worked out pretty good. Uh, I think a third test, we'll do a third test. We'll go down here to a different section on the porch. Say maybe right down here. Um, this area, you know, this is not a high traffic area. There's always been something on the front porch. So we'll come down here and see how it does in a non high traffic area that's not wore down and test that. Then, after we get done with that, we'll walk back over to the driveway when it's dried and take a look at it. So, a comparison between taking it off the high traffic area that was already worn uh, to an area that didn't experience hardly any traffic. Uh, it's been about the same amount of time. Not sure how well the light reflects it with the shadow on it, but about the same amount of time on a low traffic area. It's like a 10 year guaranteed paint and stain. So when I purchased it and when I did it all, it would take a little bit longer to get everything up but it does show proof that it would bring it up. Uh, maybe possibly a higher pressure pressure washer, you know, another 500,000 PSI would probably fill it up pretty quick. But I mean, over overall, it, it's getting the job done and it's not that hard to deal with for the sake of, you know, making the video and stuff, doing a side profile coming from here, you know, and just rotating or whatever that you need to. You know, it's not that bad. This porch is not super wide, so it does really good. So next off, we're gonna go down here and check out check out the uh, concrete that's dried. See if we can get the tell the shade difference. If we can get that on camera, and then basically drop an overall review of what I think of it. Checking out, just looking at the shade difference. Hopefully, we can capture it on camera. So. This right here is where I started, and you can see the dirt lines and everything from being high traffic coming in and it just washing that away on simple passes. And then the shade difference from just this section to the ones that haven't been cleaned yet. It's, uh, it's, a, it, it's getting the job done. Like it's, it has no struggle on concrete. And that is with no chemicals whatsoever. That is just it on its own. And I have, after the last video, I got recommended some products. I haven't really ordered anything yet. Uh, as far as like better products to clean the driveway and stuff with. And once we get everything set back up, uh, and this heat kind of dies down a little bit, I could probably do a contest uh, comparison of this one versus the other one that I've got using those chemicals. Uh, if you guys would like to see that, that comparison or whatnot, just drop it down in the comments. Um, also, if you have suggestions of chemicals to say clean your driveway with or clean your porch with, and if you're a company that's got something you're testing it out, drop it in the comments, shoot it my way, I can hit you up with my email and we can get it, we get it solid and, and test these things out. So my overall impression, 
man. It's pretty good. It's not a it's not a bad system. Not a bad rig. I really like how free spinning the rollers are. Uh, we didn't have any issues uh, getting this around. Uh, the price point. I can look up their price point and see what it is that they're selling it for people for. Uh, and go over that real quick. Uh, like I said, the link to it will be down in the description what they provided me to get from the general public. Uh, would this be something that I purchase? Um, personal overall opinion, if I was starting up trying to professionally uh, get into pressure washing, say driveways and large areas, uh, this, yes, I would purchase something like this. Very easy to use, uh, to break down, put in the truck, put in the car, get it done, you know, as like a, a starter, a feeder. And then whenever you start getting up to hot washes or something, you, could, you can move up for something else. But this right here, if you're a DIY person or, you know, trying to start your company, this right here, this, this would be pretty good. I do like this better than the other one for ease of use. The other one will be able to get into tighter spaces. But we'll do a comparison video between the two in a separate video. Um, overall, I give it a thumbs up. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video today. Hope it was entertaining. Again, thank you to this company for reaching out to me and asking me to do this for them. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, things like this help the channel grow. Um, Honestly, thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel, liked it, you know, helped us get back up in al algorithms. Hopefully this is more stuff that we can do to come. I know it's a little bit different than our side-by-side -side and, you know, race car stuff and all that, but it, I enjoy doing it. And I know people like watching it too, especially if you're going to buy a product and you don't know anything about it. Videos versus pictures, you know, uh, it, you get to see it firsthand. This is an unbiased opinion. So, again, Thank you to the company. Thank you to you guys. See you on the next one. Peace.